This is Enrico back again. Of course, on your computer screens. <laughs> How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well and that you're learning to love yourself in this world that might not always love you back. It is important to find self-love because there's a whole lot of negative noise out there and if you don't learn how to filter out that noise, it will swallow you whole. The events that have happened over this past week with entertainment in South Korea is something that we are all too used to. Sully's death, we know her, she was a former member of the popular girl group FX and she went to being an actress. And even before that, we had Jong Hyun, who was in Shining, who also took his life and many, many more before that. I could talk all day, it happened so much. It's not just Korea, also Japan has a problem with it, China has a problem with it. And mostly it's because all of these three places have this commenter syndrome that happens online and it's a term called flaming where people will go and find something about an entertainer or even just a person. In Japan they use it for bullying and they will literally take this person and pick them apart online and it is it happened so much in Korea and there's just all these comments people who are anonymous who will find something about a person that to them is just not normal while this person is just trying to live their life and they will literally keep picking with this person and picking and picking and picking and picking and picking and, picking. and the whole problem of how it's very hard to fight this is that Asia, Korea, Japan, China pay so much attention to this that it ends up really messing with your self-esteem and you start doubting yourself and thinking that you're not worth it, that you're not worthy of this world, that there's something wrong with you, and you start to think that everybody is against you. You can go out in the world and just be. And you thinking like people are attacking you at all sides and it really messes with your mind. And eventually you're just like, I don't even know why I'm here. Every time I look online, every place my name is mentioned, it's somebody saying that I am this, that, or the other because I'm dating somebody. Because I decide to dress a certain way. So, you know, they're saying that, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. And if you do this, you are this, that, or the other. And it's just like, nobody deserves that. Even if you feel that way about somebody, for you to constantly keep picking with that person... You have to really question these people's mental states as well. Because, like, how do you sit up and take time out of your day to constantly attack somebody? Constantly. We all judge people. I do it. You do it. That's a part of human nature. But I'm not going to keep picking with you. You know, I'll say something about somebody. You probably say something about somebody. And you let it go, you let it be. After a while, it dies. It's like, if you don't like a person, or you don't like something that a person has done, you say it, you get it out there. Okay, it's done, I move on. Might see you again in passing. Hey, how are you doing? You know, I still don't like you for what you did. <laughs> or like, I, I don't approve of maybe something that you're wearing or whatever like that, but that's that person's life overall. No matter what I think, no matter what you think, that's that own person's life. And they do what they wanna do. So, you know, we all just keep it moving. But it's not like that in South Korea. It's not like that in Japan. It's not like that in China. People will constantly keep picking. And it could be something going on in their own life. And they're mad and frustrated. And what they do, they take it out on these celebrities. And it's just like, leave the celebrities alone. We understand. We get it. You don't like it that, you, that she feel like that she wasn't wearing a bra. We understand we, you don't like it that she was dating someone that you may not have approved of or that she was dating at all. But that's her life. You have a life. She has a life. We all have our own lives. And if you don't like something that someone else is doing, you get out and do something for yourself and focus on yourself and your own self-worth. And you get yourself a man or a woman or you try to make yourself be as beautiful as these celebrities. Try to put that 
in yourself instead of constantly attacking somebody. But it's really hard to gain self-love. And it's something that doesn't come overnight. <laughs> it's something that really comes after you have suffered a lot. And some people will suffer and they will not make it. They will fall off the train and you will never see them again. Meanwhile, you're holding on for dear life. And then finally, you're like, ah, what this person says about me is not important. Because at the end of the day, I go to sleep with myself. I have to wake up with myself. I'm with myself. I got to look myself in the mirror. It's my life. So, you know, you can say what you want to say about me. You cannot like me because of my personality, because of my race, because I wear this or that or the other. But at the end of the day, I control my life. You don't control my life. I control my life. And I refuse to give you control over my life. And like I said, it's hard. I still go through it and really finding it. And you know, believing in it. And holding on to it. And, it, and it's not something that you just automatically have. You know, we all get hurt by what people say. We all do. There is no such thing as... I don't care about what people say about me. We all care about what people say about us. We all do. But you got to learn to filter out the criticism that's trying to help you. And the criticism that is trying to tear you down. Because really, it's not you. It's that person. They have the problem, not you. Deep down, they're really envious. They're mad because you're doing something that they can't do. And what they're trying to do, they're jealous. They're mad. And they try to tear you down. And you got to spot that right away. And just say, you know what? <laughs> this is my life. You don't like me. You don't have to like me. Nobody in this room has to like me. <laughs> you know, it's like, but I'm going to choose to be happy being myself. Because I have to live with myself. And I am who I am. But, you know, it's very hard in South Korea, in Japan, in China. And when I find people that do love themselves and they don't care about what's going on online on those message boards, I really am impressed <laughs> with these people. Because they're, they're out there in Korea that they don't care what anybody has to say about them. And in Korea, it's such a opinion-driven culture where everybody care about what other people say about them. They care about... You, you as a foreigner, you know, if you're white or black and how it makes them look. They care about what they wear when they go out, no matter if it's to the convenience store and back. It's such an opinion-driven culture. So when you find people that love themselves enough to say, you know, the old Adishi, old Ajima might be tearing me apart on the bus because they saying I have too many tattoos or might be tearing me apart because my skirt may be too high but hey it's my life <laughs> you know it's like I'm just gonna ignore you because at the end of the day I gotta go to bed with myself and I gotta wake up with myself and that's just it you know because you have to learn too. Someone's always going to have something to say about you. You could be the nicest person in the world. Not do anything to anybody. And I bet you. There's going to be that one person. That's going to be like you too nice. So it's just like. The heck with it. <laughs> you know it's like I'm just going to do what I want to do. Because you can't really win. Because you can't please everybody. It's not possible. It's just not. So I might as well you be yourself and have people drawn to you for you being your genuine self and just leaving the comments alone. Don't look at them. Don't pay attention to it. Just let it be. I do it. Learn that only thing you need is yourself. And when you realize this, you will be much happier. And I really hope that people in Korea more people in Korea start to see this as well and just start leaving the online comments and stuff alone because it's not always there to help you that criticism is really people crying out for help because they're not satisfied with their own lives so you know it's something that we all have to work toward if you see someone who's struggling with cyberbullying please talk to them 
sit them down and really have a pep talk with them. They are probably needed and they probably don't want to feel like that they're alone. Make them feel like that they are not alone. So you guys, this is a lot to think about. Thank you for watching this video. Follow my social media, mostly my Instagram. I also have a blog on East Asian pop culture and the link is always below. Follow my music channel, my first music video. The link will be somewhere up here. <laughs> and remember, be real, stay real, live in the real and I will be back love you all love you guys